Welcome back to our channel where we take a closer look at the most advanced military technology around. The K-2 Black Panther is a South Korean main battle tank, designed and produced by Hyundai Rotom Company and currently in service with the Republic of Korea Army. It is named after the Black Panther, a large cat native to the Korean Peninsula. One of the key features of the K-2 Black Panther is its advanced composite armor, which is designed to provide protection against a wide range of threats, including armor-piercing rounds and rocket-propelled grenades. The tank is also equipped with a soft-kill active protection system. The Leopard 2A is a third-generation main battle tank developed by the German company Krauss Maffei Wegmann for the German Armed Forces. It is the latest variant in the Leopard 2 family and has been designed to meet the requirements of modern warfare. One of the most notable features of the Leopard 2A7 is its modular armor system. The tank's standard armor consists of composite materials and steel, while additional armor modules can be added to increase protection against specific threats, such as improvised explosive devices. The V-280 Valor is an advanced tilt-rotor aircraft developed by Bell Textron in collaboration with a team of aerospace industry partners. Designed to meet the needs of the U.S. Army's future vertical lift program, it represents a significant leap forward in vertical lift technology, offering enhanced speed, range, and agility compared to traditional helicopters. The V-280 Valor combines the vertical takeoff and landing VTOL capabilities of a helicopter with the speed and efficiency of a fixed-wing aircraft. The aircraft's spacious and configurable cabin can accommodate up to 14 personnel or a variety of mission-specific equipment and cargo. The Redback Infantry Fighting Vehicle, IFV, is an advanced armored vehicle developed by Rheinmetall Defense Australia. One of the primary strengths of the Redback is its advanced protection system. The vehicle incorporates modular composite and ceramic armor, providing excellent ballistic and mine blast protection. The design focuses on crew survivability, with enhanced protection against various threats, including anti-tank missiles, rocket-propelled grenades, and improvised explosive devices, IEDs. The Redback's advanced armor technology and blast-resistant hull ensure the safety of the crew in high-threat environments. The vehicle Bland de Combat d'Infanterie VBCI, is a French 8x8-wheeled infantry fighting vehicle IFV, developed by the French defense company Nexter Systems, formerly known as Giot Industries and Renault Trucks Defense. The VBCI is in service with the French Army and other countries, including Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and Cyprus. The VBCI is equipped with advanced technology and digital systems, including a battlefield management system, digital map display, and a satellite navigation system. The VBCI has seen combat in several conflicts, including the French intervention in Mali, where it demonstrated its effectiveness in counterinsurgency operations. Songar's unmanned systems, specifically its armed drone platforms, have proven to be highly capable and effective in combat operations. These drones combine advanced technologies, including artificial intelligence, precision targeting, and autonomous capabilities to provide superior performance on the battlefield. With its export achievements, Songar contributes to the defense industry and economy of Turkey. The export of unmanned systems not only generates revenue for the company, but also enhances Turkey's reputation as a reliable and technologically advanced defense exporter.
The RM70 is a well-known MRL system that was developed in the former Czechoslovakia and is still in service with several countries today. It is based on the Tatra 8x8 truck chassis, which provides excellent off-road mobility and stability for the launcher system. It is equipped with 40 launch tubes, arranged in a rectangular configuration on a turntable, capable of firing 122 mm rockets. The system is operated by a crew of three personnel who can quickly reload the launch tubes with new rockets using a specialized loading mechanism. The T-129 ATAK is a Turkish attack helicopter designed and manufactured by Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI. The helicopter is based on the Italian Augusta Westland AW-129 helicopter, but with several key modifications and upgrades to meet the specific needs of the Turkish military. It is a twin-engine helicopter with a four-bladed rotor system and a sleek aerodynamic design. It is equipped with advanced avionics and weapons systems, including a helmet-mounted display system, a forward-looking infrared sensor, a laser rangefinder and designator, and a variety of air-to-ground missiles and rockets. The Navy LSAC landing craft air cushion is a unique and highly specialized hovercraft utilized by the United States Navy for ship-to-shore amphibious operations. It provides a critical capability for transporting personnel, vehicles and equipment from naval vessels to coastal areas that lack traditional port facilities or have challenging terrain. The hovercraft's propulsion system consists of four powerful gas turbine engines providing the necessary thrust to propel the craft over both land and water. Its large payload capacity enables it to carry a wide range of military vehicles, including main battle tanks, armored personnel carriers, trucks, and other heavy equipment. The Pandur II is a versatile wheeled armored vehicle designed and developed by the Austrian company Steyr Daimler Puch Spezial Fahrzeug GmbH, now known as General Dynamics European Land Systems. It is in service with several countries around the world, including Austria, Belgium, and Portugal. One of the key features of the Pandur II is its high level of mobility. It has a powerful engine and eight wheels, which allows it to traverse rough terrain and reach high speeds. It also has an amphibious capability, which allows it to travel in water. The MQ-9 Reaper is an unmanned aerial vehicle developed by General Atomics Aeronautical Systems for the United States Air Force. It is a hunter-killer drone that can be used for both intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions, as well as for precision strikes against enemy targets. It is equipped with a variety of sensors and cameras, including an infrared sensor, a synthetic aperture radar, and a multi-spectral targeting system. These sensors provide the drone with real-time surveillance capabilities, allowing it to detect and track targets on the ground from a safe distance. The JLTV, or Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, is a modern and highly capable military vehicle that combines enhanced mobility, advanced protection, and versatile mission capabilities. Developed by Oshkosh Defense, the JLTV represents a significant advancement in the field of light tactical vehicles, providing enhanced performance and survivability for military forces. In addition to its robust design and protection features, the JLTV is equipped with advanced communication and network integration capabilities. This enables seamless integration into modern command and control systems, facilitating real-time information exchange and enhancing situational awareness for the crew and other friendly forces. The CV-90 Infantry Fighting Vehicle is a modern and highly capable tracked armored vehicle designed and manufactured by BAE Systems Haglunds, a Swedish defense company. It is specifically designed to transport infantry troops into the battlefield, 
while providing them with superior protection, firepower, and mobility. Its primary role is to transport infantry squads and support their operations with integrated firepower and situational awareness. The vehicle's spacious and well-designed compartment can accommodate a fully equipped infantry squad, providing them with a protected and comfortable environment during operations. The High Mobility Multipurpose Wheeled Vehicle, HMMWV, commonly known as the Humvee, is a versatile and iconic military vehicle that has been in service with the United States military since the 1980s. The HMMWV was developed to meet a wide range of mission requirements, including troop transport, cargo transport, reconnaissance, and weapons platform. Its design incorporates features that enable it to operate in various terrains and climates, making it suitable for diverse operational environments. The Eurocopter Tiger, also known as the Airbus Helicopters Tiger, is a powerful attack helicopter designed and manufactured by Airbus Helicopters. The helicopter is designed to meet the needs of modern battlefield operations, including reconnaissance, close air support, and anti-tank missions. The Tiger also features advanced defensive systems, including a radar warning receiver, a missile approach warning system, and chaff and flare dispensers. These systems allow the helicopter to detect and evade enemy threats, making it a highly survivable platform in combat situations. The ITAN, Hebrew for steadfast, is a wheeled armored personnel carrier designed and manufactured by the Israeli defense company Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. The vehicle was developed to provide the Israel Defense Forces with a highly mobile and well-protected platform for infantry transport and fire support. The ETAN has seen combat in several conflicts, including the 2014 Gaza War and the 2021 Gaza conflict. It has proven to be effective in a variety of missions, including reconnaissance, fire support, and infantry transport. The Abrams M1A2 is a third-generation main battle tank that is currently the primary tank of the United States Army and several other countries. It is an upgraded variant of the M1A2 Abrams, and it has been in service since the mid-1990s. The tank was designed and manufactured by General Dynamics Land Systems, and it is considered one of the most advanced and capable tanks in the world. The tank also has a nuclear, biological, and chemical protection system which provides the crew with protection against all kinds of hazardous materials. Two C-19 MSTAS is a Russian self-propelled howitzer artillery system developed in the 1980s. The MSTAS has been used in a number of conflicts and military operations, including the First and Second Chechen Wars, the 2008 Russo-Georgian War, and the Syrian Civil War. It has been praised for its reliability, mobility, and effectiveness in combat situations. It has sniper accuracy compared to other self-propelled guns. In these shots, you can see how the Ukrainian defenders are conducting tests of captured two C-19 MSTAS howitzers. The Rhine Metal Fuchs Evolution is a highly advanced armored personnel carrier APC, developed by Rhine Metal Defense. Building upon the success and capabilities of the original Fuchs APC, the Fuchs Evolution represents a significant upgrade with enhanced features, improved performance, and modernized technologies. One of the key upgrades in the Fuchs Evolution is its enhanced mobility. The vehicle is equipped with a powerful engine providing increased power and improved maneuverability. The advanced suspension system and high-performance drivetrain enable the Fuchs Evolution to traverse diverse terrains, including rough terrain and off-road conditions. The amphibious assault vehicle AAVP-7A1 
commonly known as the AAV, is a versatile and amphibious armored vehicle used by the United States Marine Corps for expeditionary operations. Designed to transport Marines from ship to shore and provide essential firepower support, it is a reliable and effective asset in amphibious assault missions. This armored vehicle has the capacity to carry up to 21 fully equipped combat-ready Marines, including the crew. The A-29 Super Tucano is a highly versatile and widely acclaimed light attack and advanced training aircraft. Designed and manufactured by the Brazilian aerospace company Embraer, the Super Tucano has gained significant recognition for its exceptional performance in counterinsurgency and close air support missions. The aircraft's armament and mission capabilities are one of its key strengths. The Super Tucano is equipped with a wide range of weapons, including machine guns, rockets, bombs, and precision-guided munitions. The Nora B-52 is a Serbian-made 155mm self-propelled howitzer that was developed in the 1990s. It has a range of up to 41 kilometers and can fire up to six rounds per minute. It is also equipped with an advanced fire control system, which includes a laser rangefinder, a digital battlefield management system, and a navigation system. In recent years, it has undergone several upgrades to improve its capabilities. These upgrades have included improvements to its armor protection, increased range, and the addition of a new autoloader system. The M1224 MAX Pro is a mine-resistant, ambush-protected MRAP vehicle developed by Navistar Defense. It was designed to provide enhanced protection and survivability for military personnel operating in high-threat environments, particularly against improvised explosive devices, IEDs, and ambushes. The MAX Pro has been widely used by the United States military and other allied forces in various conflict zones. The vehicle can accommodate a crew of up to six personnel, including a driver, a commander, and four additional passengers. It provides spacious and well-protected seating arrangements with ballistic protection against small arms fire and shrapnel. The M270 Multiple Launch Rocket System, MLRS, is a highly versatile and powerful artillery weapon system. Developed by Lockheed Martin in the United States, it has gained a reputation as a reliable and effective means of delivering devastating firepower to the battlefield. It also benefits from advanced fire control and targeting systems, allowing for precise and accurate strikes. Its integrated fire control system, coupled with Global Positioning System GPS guidance, enables the MLRS to hit targets with exceptional accuracy, reducing the risk of collateral damage and maximizing the effectiveness of each engagement. The M2 Bradley entered service in the early 1980s, and it has been a key component of the U.S. Army's armored vehicle fleet ever since. It has also been exported to several other countries, including Saudi Arabia, which used the vehicle in the Gulf War. The M2 Bradley has seen combat in several conflicts, including the Gulf War, the Iraq War, and the war in Afghanistan. It has proven to be effective in a variety of missions, including reconnaissance, fire support, and infantry transport. The M9 Armored Combat Earthmover, ACE, is a specialized military vehicle designed to provide engineering and earthmoving capabilities to support combat operations. It is primarily used by the United States Army for various construction tasks, such as digging trenches, clearing obstacles, and constructing defensive positions. The M9 ACE is based on the chassis of the M1 Abrams main battle tank, which allows it to operate in the same theater of operations and keep up with armored formations.
The M113 Armored Personnel Carrier, APC, is a versatile and widely used military vehicle designed for troop transport and battlefield mobility. It has been in service with various armed forces around the world since its introduction in the 1960s. The M113 has proven itself as a reliable and adaptable platform, with numerous variants developed to fulfill a range of mission requirements. The vehicle can accommodate a driver and a crew of up to 11 fully equipped soldiers, including a commander and a gunner. The MIM-104 Patriot, a highly capable surface-to-air missile system, was developed by Raytheon in the United States. This advanced air defense system has earned its reputation as a vital component of modern military defenses worldwide. The system's command and control center, known as the Engagement Control Station, ECS, serves as the nerve center for all Patriot operations. It provides operators with real-time situational awareness coordinating the overall defense strategy and facilitating swift decision-making. Thank you for tuning in to our video on advanced military tech. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and leaving a comment with your thoughts on this fascinating topic.